Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm here in the Dusit district of Bangkok to take a look at the Racha Thiwat temple, which is short for uh, Wat Racha Thiwat Vihan. So Racha Thiwat means uh, a place where the king lives. So uh, there's a lot to see and a lot to figure out about this temple. So before we do, don't forget to click like, share and subscribe. Let's go. So here we are inside the temple and I will tell you a bit more in history about this temple before we like take the whole tour. So this temple was before known as uh, Wat Samurai and it was built during the Lavo era which is uh, before the Ayutthaya period and it was uh, restored in, during the Ratnakosin period and also this place is known as uh, uh, the home for uh, King Rama V when he was uh, going through his monkhood and actually uh, his brother helped uh, just like build the architecture like design the architecture of this place and so the ordination hall this like stupa just behind me and this like the buildings are actually made in Khmer style which is like a before like a very historical um, you know historically rich uh, architecture culture and everything so it's quite beautiful it's unlike any other temple anybody has visited before so yeah it has a lot of history to it a lot of uh, rich culture to it so which is nice let's go in and let's check it out all right Okay guys, so we are here in the sermon hall of the monastery of the temple and this hall, this building is actually made of teak wood which is very valuable here in Thailand because uh, the value of teak is equivalent to gold. So even like right now, you can I don't think you can get teak anywhere here to build this huge building or anything. So it's a very like valuable thing. It's uh, this uh, place this building holds a lot of value and yeah it's really nice it's a lot of it's really sunny as well but I can uh, always stop to appreciate the beauty of the architecture and the years it took to make this beautiful building so yeah that's quite nice Okay guys, so right here I'm in the ordination hall and it's quite beautiful actually, mostly because of the painting, the murals that surround us. So these murals are actually Italian style painting known as fresco painting, which is basically, um, you know, uh, colored pigments that, that is painted on a freshly coated plaster wall. So yeah, this painting is originated from the Renaissance period, which is like historical in the uh, European side. So Renaissance is in all like, you know, the culture, art, music and everything. They emerged freshly during that time in the history. So it's quite, you know, it brings out like the Western and Eastern culture of both the places. Okay, so the murals that surround us actually depict the Pravit Sandon Chadok, which is the story of Buddha's previous life before he reincarnated as Siddhartha Gautama, which is known to us as Lord Buddha. So it's very beautiful. It has like different, you know, um, different frames of different uh, lives of Buddha, I guess. So I think there's six lives here, right? 
yeah around six lives and they all depict what the previous lives of uh, buddha as before he reincarnated as siddhartha so it's quite beautiful and i can appreciate a lot of like thai culture and the religion here so that's quite nice Okay guys so now we are at the banks of the Chapraya river which is just like walking distance from the temple so basically the ordination hall or pra ubosod is facing the river which is really nice because at the end of the tour people usually come here to spend some time just sit around just enjoy the beauty of uh, the bangkok city so that's quite nice and um overall i had a really good experience here uh, this temple is not like the others because uh, the architecture and everything and uh, just the whole history and culture of this temple is very rich it has a different meaning uh, compared to the other ones which is really nice and yeah it's a very unusual experience honestly and yeah i hope you guys like this video and don't forget to click like share and subscribe All Right bye guys. Bye.